Launch. We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkin set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkin cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from the Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. Osea and Yuktabania, as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the Arkbird? The Arkbird, a 
A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. Hey, listen. Yes? Isn't that thing supposed to work like a satellite? Why'd it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. Yeah. So shouldn't it be higher up then? Continue countdown. Three minutes to launch.
Ryuk to Bounty and ACVs destroyed. Our thanks to all Allied aircraft. That should be most of them. It looks like they've abandoned the ground invasion and decided to just destroy the base. Wipe out the remaining enemy forces. Make an effort to minimize any damage to the mass driver. Large number of cruise missiles tracked on the outer edge of our radar coverage. All fighters, engage and destroy these cruise missiles. Captain, can you detect the cruise missiles from there? I picked them up as well. They're heading for the facility. Look at all those missiles. The SSTO is going to get hit if this keeps up. This is Flight Director Adam Gittleman. Continue SSTO launch. Recommence launch sequence. Attention all personnel. We only have one chance to launch. Let's all do our jobs and see this through to the very end. That is all. Weather team, roger. Flight control team, roger. Guidance team, roger. Missile trajectories detected. Movie data set. Seal off D-block. Nobody's left in there, right? Flight control, your job is done. Evacuate the area immediately. We can't have any mistakes here. We're staying. I can't shoot them all down! You'll do fine. Stay calm and you won't miss. We're being pushed back. Little by little. Confirmed kill on a bomber. Those must be the aircraft behind those cruise missiles. We'll be safe here. Calm down. My plane can't keep up with them. Four minutes to launch. Hold them off till then. Four minutes? We won't last that long. Blaze, do you know why the Ark Bird was built? Ironic, isn't it? I want you to ensure all comm lines stay open. We've got it covered, sir. Three modes of communication. Wired, wireless, and runners. Fire an H-block! Guidance team reporting. Our launch window will close in a few minutes. Have faith in our fighter pilots. Don't rush your final checks. What about the final check on the remote measurement units? Uh, sorry, sir. Remote measurement units check complete. Ken, is the launch facility safe? I can't tell from here. There was damaged? It's just a little while more until the launch. Hang on. Three minutes! Three minutes to go! Just shut off. Was the SSTO hit? The camera just malfunctioned. The number of incoming cruise missiles is decreasing.
plane's approaching. Take cover. We're gonna launch this thing if it kills us. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. SSTO increasing speed. SSTO passing checkpoint one. Passing checkpoint two. Passing checkpoint three. Mass driver hit by cruise missile. STO status report. Everything's clear. All systems are go. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's a beautiful sight. This is great. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. <laughs> The white bird rose up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment returned to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete.